remain of season two of Nashville. The big question everyone seems to be asking is, are we back for season three? John Dwyer going one-on-one -on -one with the show's leading lady, Connie Britton, to find out what he can. What we need here in Nashville <laughs> is an answer for season three. Give me an answer here. What can you tell us? I I know. They won't tell us. They don't, they don't tell us. Oh, Connie, they, they don't you know. You I know mean, everything. I feel, I feel confident about it. I, I don't know. I'm not... Um, privy to those conversations. However, I do feel confident about it. I feel confident that we'll be back. And do you think you would also stay in Nashville, film in Nashville? Oh, yeah. That's We're not the doing answer that show we want anywhere to hear. else. That's that is guaranteed. That is good to know. Uh, this is the intervention part of the interview, Connie. Uh, I want you to come out oh. and admit that you are in love with Deacon. You have always loved Deacon. You're going to get back with Deacon. It's inevitable. It's all over um, your face. You know, right, that I'm not actually Raina, right? You know, you just don't, right? I mean, we're clear on that, right? Raina loves Deacon. It's a complicated relationship, John. I'm you sure think? You understand that? John. Uh, I do want to ask about just, just getting along. <laughs> I do want to uh, ask about getting along with, with uh, w it seems like everybody off screen gets along really well. I mean, is that part of the chemistry yeah. and why it works so well? For sure. And, you know, that's such an important part of the chemistry of any show. Um, and every show I've ever been on, you know, the cast really becomes like family. And I think, you know, this cast, we all kind of came down to Nashville together. And that gives a real sense of camaraderie. And we all feel so, we love the town so much. And we love that world so much. And, and um, so... You know, it's just really fun. It's been really fun for all of us to experience that together, and, and everyone's great. It's such a nice group and talented group of people. Final question. What has this show done for you, and what have you realized about, about this type of series that perhaps going into it, you said, boy, I never, I never thought I would get that out of this experience here in Nashville. You know, everything, every job that I ever do is always so just literally add something to my life and that I'll always have with me, have take away with me. And, and this job has, um, you know, certainly for me, the, the opportunity to sing these amazing songs, most of which are written by Nashville, amazing Nashville songwriters. Um, the opportunity for me to be able to do that and to perform them on stage has just been uh, a, a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for me. And, and um, to be able to do that in Nashville, you know, it, it's just extraordinary. And I will be forever, I'll, I'll always cherish that. You know, for as long as we get to do it, I, 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 I pinch myself that I get to do that. That was, that was a fun interview to watch there. Uh, I like the intervention question. If you caught it, it was real quick in that little exchange when she says, just watch the season finale, John, when he yeah. asked about Deacon and Raina. So maybe that's a little hint that they are getting back together as John fantasizes about. We caught up with.